Our coverage of National Signing Day continues on RSN, and we sit down now with our offensive coordinator, Kendall Bryles, and get an overview of who the Razorbacks have signed and how they're going to be better moving forward. And Coach, first off, just congratulations on the day. I know as a coach and as a recruiter, just getting to today, there's got to be a lot of relief there. Yeah, and what a, a different day it is, you know, um, with COVID and the way things are right now. Uh, we've been Zooming um, these players and, and getting in their homes that way and talking to the families. Um, but yeah, it's, I was just saying, it's an uneventful day it felt like today, which is awesome. You know, we didn't, didn't have anybody say no and, and not sign. So I feel like we got a lot of needs covered. Um, we feel great about our class. We signed 12 guys offensively and uh, really all those guys right here in our footprint, uh, uh, bordering states, except for one out in Florida. So we feel, we feel great about the class. When you put together the plan and, and you said, we need this on offense, what were you thinking there? Yeah, um, overall, we talked, you know, we needed to get bigger mm -hmm. as a football team. Um, we addressed that up front with three offensive linemen we feel like are, are all big men that are going to help us, um, that'll come in and compete. Um, but we, um, you know, and we had most of the guys committed throughout the, the season, but even once you got into the season and you saw the teams that we were playing, just felt like we needed to get bigger up front. and. Um, I think the frames that we're bringing in with our strength staff will be able to do that. I know Coach talked about this year the need for two quarterbacks. It may not be every year, but but this year there was that need. It sounds like. Yeah, there was, and uh, you know we want to get two really good ones. Um, love love the guys we got. Landon Rogers in state, who's a, a dual threat guy, um, and Lucas Coley from from Texas, also a dual threat guy. So we feel really good about about both those guys bringing athleticism and leadership to the program. Um, I think both those guys have a lot of intangibles that are going to help us moving forward and be great ambassadors for the program. When you run an offense like you run, you're going to need receivers. Uh, you signed four more in this class. Talk about that position and, and in, a, in a normal year, what you might like to do is for about the average that we might see annually there? You know, it just depends on your numbers. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to end up playing, you know, probably seven to eight guys throughout the course of a year you'd like to have anywhere from 10 to 12 on scholarships. So it just really depends on what you have on campus already. Um, obviously, Coach Stepp did a great job recruiting those guys. Uh, three are, are true receivers, um, Bryce, Jaden, and Keytron. And then, you know, Rocket from Florida, it's kind of a kind of a dual guy. You know, we're kind of excited about him, what he can do. You know you want to give him the ball, but he's um, you can hand it to him at the receiver position or, or playing running backs. We're just really, really excited about what he brings. You signed a couple of running backs, and, and as we see every year, it seems in college football, uh, you can get down that list pretty quickly, and you need those guys there. Yeah, um, we're really excited about both of them, Javian and AJ. Um, you know, Javian's a tough, hard-nosed kid, comes from a winning program, then won him another state championship, and we really needed speed at the running back position. Um, AJ, he brings speed and he brings power. Um, he's got some wiggle to him as well, but he can go the distance, so we're really, really excited about uh, about both those guys. Coach Smith did a great job recruiting. Yeah, you know, it was interesting. I was thinking about how, you know, last week you're game planning for Alabama, you're getting ready for a football game, but you're also real recruiting. Every day's a recruiting day. As a coach, how'd, how'd you balance all that? Well, Coach Pittman does a great job setting our schedule and, and keeping us on task. Uh, we knew the task at hand with Alabama coming in. Um, you know, we were a little beat up towards the end of the year. Uh, we knew it was going to be difficult. Um, I think we, we game plan best best we could and practice the best we could while uh, really handling the recruiting responsibilities that we needed to. And um, we felt good about all the commitments and where they were, but still, when you get to this time of the year, there's people that are, other teams are losing guys and trying to come steal yours. So you got to make sure that you're, you're on top of it. And um, I, think, uh, I think Coach Pittman did a great job setting the schedule, allowing us to manage it all. And finally, just the performance on the field this year and, and, and the feeling around the program, what effect does that have? Uh, you know, it, it's funny because, um, you know, when you go into a season and not that we won, you know, won a lot of games, you know, we were on the other column a little bit more than the winning column, but um, there's still a lot of excitement. And, you know, I think it's with winning three SEC games, playing the hardest schedule arguably in the history of college football. and. <laughs> And being very competitive, you know, in, in almost every single game except except the last one. So, I think there's a lot of a lot of hope for the program. I think our guys, um, the culture that we've created in this football program, I think um, it's made everybody who follows Arkansas happy about the direction where the program's going. Obviously, Coach Pittman 
is the head hog with that. So uh, we're really excited about the players we got coming back and then add this group to it. We feel great. Coach, thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, folks, stay with us. It is an exciting day, and our coverage of National Signing Day will continue on the Razorback Sports Network. Go Hogs.